everyone, Karpakoi here. I hope your week has been amazing and welcome to my new video. So, today we are doing what's in my pencil case tag or something like that because I really like to watch those videos. Now, first of all, um, I have been having quite a few technical issues with computers not enjoying my company. Uh, <laughs> well, in general, in, ge in general, I'm not the best person with computers and, well, uh, stuff is just not happening lately. Um, but yeah, let's see if I can exp upload this on time. Let's try this this week again. Um, yeah, so these two pencil cases carry my essential art supplies. Uh, well, I'm an art student, if you are new here. Um, so these two are what I carry with me every single day. Some stuff in here uh, sometimes um, is switched out and I'll take something different. But for the most part, this is it. Okay, so let's get started. So let's get started with the first with the first one. This is the most essential one out of the two. So my favorite color is orange so I have a very cheap um, fountain pen that is orange. This is a Jinhao. I bought it out of Aliexpress. Um, every single thing that I can find uh, a link to I will link it below. Um, I will provide links for Amazon UK and for Jackson's Art Supplies because yeah, I, I have affiliate links with them. Uh, I might as well add some Amazon US links but I do not have affiliate links with them which means if you buy something from either the Amazon UK or Jackson's Art Supplies you are also supporting me although you don't pay more for that. But well, uh, shameless plug aside, <laughs> um, I also really like to use this pen. Let's see if it focus on the pen itself. Oh, there we go. This is a Koi coloring brush pen in this very nice sky blue thing. Um, yes, light sky blue is the name of this color. These uh, these pens are what I use for my bullet journal that I carry with me every day. So, yeah. Also, I am a huge, huge fan of Pilot G-Tech pens. So, I carry with me quite a few of them. Um, I keep... Let me just... Oh, there we go. I keep an orange one, a uh, C-Tech... A GTEC C4 in orange, another one in pink, another one in black, and I also carry um, GTEC 0.25 in black. This is the thinnest pen I I own, I believe. I think it is even thinner than the thinnest pen that Micron produces, <laughs> something very close to that at least. Um, then I, so this is what I use on my bullet journal along with, where is it, this pen. This is an imitation of, or a dupe, of that uh, Tombow Fudenozuke pen, except this is from Aliexpress and it is super cheap because I couldn't find a seller that ships to Portugal those pens um, but maybe one day I will be able to buy the um, the official one the Tombow or the Zebra one um, but you know it is enough for me now but of course I would like to buy one a decent one this is not very good it, it is pretty bad I just like the tip of the pen then I keep with me two permanent markers. 
they are faber castell and they write on glass on plastic metal cds and basically everything in between uh, they have this really strange eraser on the back but it is very useful because this they i i found out since i have these that basically every permanent alcohol based pen that writes on plastic you can erase it with either these rear erasers or regular rubber erasers um yeah but these are very useful and i keep them in black in small and medium then i keep an assortment of uh water brush <laughs> water brushes um, I don't think I can pronounce this right, but you know, water brushes, the cheapest I could find. I have no idea the brand of them, because they are supposed to be a non-brand ones. So, yeah, but any any water brush would would be okay with me. I just don't like the Derwent ones, but all the others, great. <laughs> um, but yeah, I have, this is a medium. And this is a small, and this one I have no idea. Probably medium too. Or a large. Something like that. It doesn't really matter, it's just... You know, I only the uh, uh, I only paint small things on the go. So, yeah. Then, I keep a Rotring. I believe this is an isograph in 0.2 this pen is over 30 years old so i have no idea if they are still made i do know that the rapidographs are still made but i believe this one is an isograph and i and i have to check but i will leave everything in the description down below and yeah so next pentel pocket brush pen real bristle brush um, these are nylon fibers, or I believe, the, the same as water brushes, except this one is more expensive and is less probable to clog when you put ink in it, because it is made to hold waterproof ink. So you have to buy these cartridges or fill them up with a blunt syringe, which I don't have, so I still have to buy the cartridges. But one day I'm going to be able to fill them up <laughs> because I'm going to. I, I have to buy a blunt. A blunt. A little. Aish. Excuse my language. I am having a lot of trouble talking today. <laughs> Even in Portuguese, which is my main language, I am having trouble thinking and talking today. Okay. Let's go on. I still have to buy those cartridges. That's what I meant to say. Then I carry with me a bunch of different of different no, this is not colored pencils. Um so oh this is a blue one. Okay, so I mostly prefer to draw with um warm tones, but I really like purple and blue also. But mostly oranges and reds and pinks are what I reach for. Um, so, I have an assortment of pencils. The brand doesn't really matter, except for this one, because this is a watercolor pencil made by a Portuguese brand, which is uh, that is called Diarco. And they are also the, the company who makes... Um, what, is, what is it called? Uh, Artgraf. Um, I don't know if you are familiar with that, but it is soluble graphite. Or I know graphite is not soluble, but they make it in a way that it is somewhat mixable with water because of the binders. So yeah, something like that. <laughs> then I have a bunch of different graphite pencils that I I don't really like to use it that much. But I have to because I have drawing class and for drawing class my teacher wants, as most of teachers want, a graphite pencil. So I have um, 
I don't know where it is, but I have a 2B, a 4B, a 6B, an HB, another HB, and I usually also keep in here a 2H, but I have no idea where it is. So, yeah. Then I have this one. This is an ink tense that I got very disappointed with because I love all the 24 colors, uh, the 23 out of the 24 colors I bought. I like all the other 23, but this one, which is called Outliner, is not water soluble as the others. And I think this is just another graphite pencil. And that annoys me because I paid for 24 water soluble pencils, not 23. 3 plus a graphite, so eh, but still, it is very dark and really good for outlining things, just like it says it is supposed to. Then I keep a random, it doesn't really matter what mechanical pencil I carry with me, but for writing, I prefer a mechanical pencil. I also keep this super duper cute uh, X Arto knife for sharpening my pencils, because they need to be sharpened, and as you can see, I sharpen them in whatever shape is easier to grip for what I'm doing. You know. So, yeah, giraffe exacto knife, because they are cute. Also, I keep a teeny tiny travel brush that came with the Van Gogh set. I don't really like Van Gogh brushes, but uh, their watercolors are fine for student. They are really good for student grade because they are closer to professional grade. But if you were to consider them professional grade, they would be really bad <laughs> in that sense. So in that sense, so you know. Then these are the extras. Oh, along with the main with the main one, I usually keep this thing. Uh, which is my smaller watercolor palette. This is a limited palette, as you can see by the size. Um, but the colors are not the best for mixing. I mean, I love them and I love all the colors they produce. But if you want true primaries, don't go with a palette like mine. Because I don't have a real blue in here. It may look like a blue to you right now, but it is more green. Then it should. So when I want a real primary color teeny tiny set, I use this thing where I have a yellow, a magenta, a lilac, not lilac, what is it called? I have quinacridone rose, purple lake, uh, and two different blues that I can't remember the names. Um, but let me put this aside, these two, I swatched them in here, so these three colors belong to this one, and these five colors are in here, and this is what I... I always take either one or the other with me, and this is my favorite orange, which is made by these two colors. So, this is all I take with me every single day, and then I have in here some extras that I take whenever I know that I need them, or whenever I know that I'm going to spend more time at school than what, you know. If I have classes in the afternoon, or if, like today, I have to get stuck at school because stuff happens and, you know, bureaucracy and stuff like that. So, things. Okay, so, the extras I keep in here are a giant white acrylic marker that I bought the other day and I... Right now I'm keeping it in here because I really, really want to try it out and I can, I can open it. <laughs> Ooh, there we go. Um, but yeah, it is a giant acrylic marker, as you can see. Oh, 
very very hard to close, very hard to open. I need to figure it out. Um, then glue because art students need glue all the time. Ah, <sighs> uh, another water brush because water brushes are a must. Tiny binder clip. This is a Uniball Gel Impact Pen in one millimeter. This is a very thick gel pen. I use it sometimes. Oops, excuse me. I use it sometimes on my bullet journal, other times on my sketchbook. It is a very versatile pen, but once again, it's just your regular gel pen. It is. It writes very smoothly though. Um, then I keep a Pilot V Sign pen. It says pure liquid ink, and I mean, for me, this pen is heaven. Because although it does not have the line variation I was looking for when I bought it, um, it does have a tiny bit of line variation. It is a really rich black, and it is not waterproof, which makes it great for ink and wash, which I love. Then an 08 micron pen. I usually tend to keep in here an 05 too, but I don't know where I put it, so yeah, it's not here. As you can see, I, I have... It, for me, it's very easy to lose stuff, <laughs> so I, I always have to be very careful. Then this is a per paper made flare in medium. This is just your regular felt tip pen, not waterproof, not super dark or black either, or uh, not black, neutral. This is neither grey or black. This is supposed to be black, but it is bluish, I believe. This one actually gets grey when it diluted. This one gets bluish or greenish. I believe it's bluish. But, you know, stuffs. And this is a um, Karandas Neo Color 2, which is water soluble crayon. This was given to me by a very, very dear person. Um, she's, she works at um, at my, at the art store I usually go to, and she's so sweet. So yeah, I love it. I, I don't particularly use this color that much. I love this color, but I don't use it that much. Um, but I'm planning on using it, so I keep it in here. Um, so yeah. This is basically what I take to me most of the time. Take with me. <laughs> and sometimes I bring the two of them. Other times, instead of this, I bring this tiny palette. Which has my favorite colors of all time so far in watercolor. Because watercolor is amazing and I have too many favorite colors that don't fit in here. Um, but I really like these and I prefer to walk around with a tiny palette like this. Because I'll, although this is a very tiny palette, there is a lot of paint in here. And, yeah, I don't need uh, a lot, a lot of mixing space. At least not when I'm working with my favorite colors, because they, these colors don't need mixing. Almost. Because I do have an orange, and a yellow, and purple, and green, and blue, and I have most colors I need ready. So, yeah. So yeah, this is it. This is what I take with me. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoy videos like this made by other artists or art students. And yes, thank you very much for watching. Um, just to remind you, I will have in the description down below links to most of this stuff. Some of these things like these... Um, these colored pencils, I'm not gonna name brands because it's not important, it's just for sketching. And yeah, so 
Thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give me a like and consider subscribing for more content like this. Uh, so yeah, see you next week! <laughs> Bye!